Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to create email alerts with Sourcefire's IPS. So we're on our Defense Center console. I'm going to go ahead and log on with our administrative username and password. And although this is easy to accomplish, guys, it is an important um, step to take, when, especially when setting up IPS type devices. So we're going to go into Policy and Response IPS, or sorry, Responses, Alerts. <clears throat> You'll see we currently have no alerts defined on this system, so we'll go ahead and click on Create Alert. And within this section, we have a drop down. Now, you probably remember if you've seen some of the previous videos um, this, this specific drop down because we've done the syslog alerting before. So we're going to email. Now, within the name here, we'll type in, I don't know, Peter Janoulis, something simple. It's already there. In our to, we'll type in Peter at the academy.ca. In our from, we'll type in, I don't know, sourcefire <clears throat> IPS at the academy.ca. And in here, you can easily make it active by actually clicking the uh, checkbox down below um, so you don't have to actually manually make it active after the fact or after you create it. In here, we have no relay host configured, so we'd have to go into edit relay host, add our mail server, and so on, um, and then we'd pretty much be done. We click on active, save, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you actually do it. And you can see here now that we've got it in here in our alert section, we can go easily delete it, edit it, or also deactivate the actual alert as well. Thanks very much for coming out, guys. We'll definitely see you on the next one.